Manchester today, yep. tonight, um, packed out out there, isn't it? Yes, yeah, sold yeah. out. Can't ask for more than that. It's pretty impressive. Now, I'm actually from Wolverhampton. Right. And uh, I know. Oh, you, no, 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 I know. I shouldn't say that too loudly, to be honest. So we've uh, been, we've been, we like it. <laughs> we really like it. I noticed one thing though on your MySpace. What? There weren't any chippies or something open. What happened there? Subway so was. That's all we so can get. Uh, yeah. We did go to a very uh, exclusive adult book shop. Oh, yeah, that was good. We, we did. We bought some by mistake. Yeah, we didn't buy it. Why did you buy that magazine? Uh, I, thought it was, uh, I thought it was a brochure of, of <laughs> pizzas. I thought it was OK <laughs> magazine. <laughs> How wrong I was. <laughs> very wrong. Now, I know you guys, you guys like released a CD. Um, didn't that get to number one or something in the comedy? In yeah, the iTunes comedy, comedy, comedy download. Yeah. Yes. Ah, there you go. So, uh, what did that mean to the band? Was that like a step forward or...? Absolutely. Sold more records that way than Billy Connolly, Monty Python, Jimmy Eddie, Carr, Eddie, Eddie is Eddie is hard. And everyone my dad likes, we've eaten. That's pretty impressive. Yeah. And now, sorry, go on. It's in the uh, in the six music charts at the moment, right yeah. high number three. And last week we um, we sold more records than Kid Rock. Yeah. yeah. That's good. I'll drink to that. I'll drink to that. As well, DVD's coming out soon, isn't it? Yes, January it'll be there. Where was that filmed at? Uh, the City of Allen St. Helens, uh, home, home, home turf. Yeah. The CD of which is available now at all good shops. That's right. Perfect stocking filler. Yeah. Now, oh, sorry, go on. I was just going to say it's a perfect stocking filler for that difficult uncle that you might have. <laughs> so, but you don't know what to get him? Last year you got him some golf balls, this year get him a DVD. Uh, what, I, what I'd really like to know is what are your influences as a band? Uh, Mooch that. Hey, that. that. <laughs> hey, always one of them. Uh, Mooch from the Sugar Babes. Yeah. Oh, no. We're loving her stuff at the moment. Uh, yeah. Bovril. 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 Uh, Bovril. Can't be the bit of Bovril. Right. I'll drink to that. <laughs> I'll drink to that. Nice one. I'm not yeah. drinking uh, because... He's the designated driver on the hot bus, that's right. <laughs> it's not fair. Not fair. Uh, so, how did the band actually start? How did it... I, just, I just had a... No, we didn't lose the show, that's just rude. I just had a... I was sat on the toilet and so just had one of those flashes of inspiration. A eureka moment. <laughs> Sat on the toilet, creative. You know, you're thinking about nothing in particular other than you know the, the usual. And uh, I just thought, you know, there needed to be a a, um, a folk band reflecting the, the, the times that we live in. It's of course 21st century folk. For 21st century folk. That's right. How do you get your ideas for all these songs? We got them. Sat on the toilet. <laughs> Sat on the toilet. Yeah. Toilets are very influential in all of the writing process. Right. Well, that's folk music in general, isn't it? I mean. Folk music's been around for a long time and it's always been about telling stories about people and life and that kind of thing. We just brought it up today, that's all we've done. Well, you know what, I'd really like to thank you for letting us come down and talk to guys. And I wish you all the best for the future. Congratulations, everybody. Beautiful.